Hello, fourth graders. I miss you a lot, believe me. But fortunately, next week we're going to have online classes. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. And now, before we continue, I want to show you our Spanish button. Okay, we're going to choose for this video Spanish on or off. What do you think? On or off? On, off? Okay, I'm going to pick for you. I can't hear you. So, my passcode first. And Spanish. Guess what? Can you guess? Spanish off. No Spanish, only English. Spanish off. So, I want to say hello to everybody in this class. I want to say hello to Abby Rose, Alejandro, David, Juan Diego, Esteban, Juan Jose, Juan Martin, Juanita, Sara, Sofia Alvarado, and Sofia Selly. I hope you're having a good time at home. Now, today, we're going to talk a little bit about grammar and also about the speaking part of your guide, of your workshop. So, let's start with the grammar. A contraction is a shortened version of two words. So, instead of saying I am, we are saying am. So, we have this conversation. Hi, I'm Mary. What's your name? Hi, Mary. My name's John. So, instead of name is, we have names. Instead of what is, we have what. Now, people usually use contractions in conversation. People often use contractions in writing. So it's not really common in writing, but it might happen. We're in the same English class. Yes, we are. I'm learning a lot. So we have, we are becomes we're. You are your, they are their. And what is becomes what, who is whose. Remember what asks about a thing and who asks about a person. So we say, what's your email address? And here we're talking about a person, a teacher, we say, Who's your English teacher? Let's continue with the contractions. How is becomes how's. For example, how's your sister feeling? She's feeling much better, thank you. How asks about the condition of someone? Has it going or how is it going is an expression used in casual conversation. It isn't used in formal writing. How's it going? Okay, how's it going with you? Now remember, with I, we, you, they, we use don't. And we use doesn't with he, she, it. So we have do not becomes don't. Like I don't have a car to drive to school. And does not becomes doesn't. My roommate doesn't have a car. So remember the present simple uses do and does as helping verbs in negatives and in questions. Here we have, I don't like our new history book, do you? No, I don't. It doesn't have enough pictures. And that's it for contractions. Now, okay, there is and there are. In this picture, we can say, we can see, there is a rock in this room, only one right here and there are some couches too one two maybe three couches so there is is for one item is singular there are for more than one item is plural again there is a rock in this room there are some couches too this is the Grammar, okay? The affirmative, we say there is a rock, there are some couches. We can see singular and plural. Negative, we have there isn't a stuff, there aren't any cabinets. Again, singular and plural. 
is is singular, are is plural. In negative is going to be isn't and aren't. Now for yes no questions, questions we put to be verb at the beginning and then there and then we have the object we're talking about. So is there a painting? Yes there is, no there isn't. Are there any lamps? Yes there are, no there aren't. So this is how you make yes no questions. Look at this example, we can see the tomatoes here, and the bowl, this is the bowl. Is there a bowl of tomatoes in the photo? Yes, there is a bowl of tomatoes in the photo. Or you can say, yes, there is. That's the short answer. Are there many tomatoes in the bowl? Yes, there are many tomatoes in the bowl. That's the full answer. And here we have the short answer. Yes, there are. And that's it for there is and there are. Okay, let's see now comparative adjectives. We're going to make comparisons in this way. There are other ways to make comparisons, but right now we're going to focus on using comparative adjectives. So, for short adjectives like cheap and small and big, this is what we do with the comparison. We do cheaper, smaller and bigger. Remember that adjectives that end in Y like funny, early, and heavy, we have to make some changes, okay? We have to turn the Y into an I. And then we have funny, funnier, early, earlier, heavy, heavier. So the spelling changes. We change the Y for the I. Now, adjectives with two syllables or more, like careful. We're not gonna use the ER, Thing we are doing here, we're not going to change the end of the adjective. Instead, we are going to add the word more. So we say careful, more careful. Boring becomes more boring. Expensive, more expensive. And we also have irregular adjectives. For example, far becomes farther. Good, better. And bad becomes worse. So these are the comparative adjectives we want to review today and that we practice in class when we talk about marine animals. Now look at these examples. The new English book is longer than the old one. It is more expensive than my other books. So look at how we use than after the comparative adjective. The new English book is longer, as we saw before. Longer with the ER and we'll say than the old one to make a comparison. Now we can also use much to give emphasis to this comparison. This new book is much more expensive than the old one. It is also much heavier to carry. So again, you can use much to add emphasis to make that adjective stronger. And that's it for comparisons now. Okay, now in the grammar section, we reviewed contractions, we saw comparisons, and there is and there are. So now in the speaking part, we're going to talk about these things. So, um, first of all, describe your home, how many rooms are there, and is there a yard? Let's see, in my case, this is my example, this is my answer. In my home, there are three, three bedrooms, there is, there is one kitchen, there are two bathrooms, and there is one living room. Now I'm going with the next question. Compare your two favorite wild animals. Okay, two of my favorite animals are elephants and crocodiles. So let's compare them. Elephants are bigger than crocodiles. Elephants are heavier than crocodiles and elephants are more sociable than crocodiles. Crocodiles are more aggressive than elephants and crocodiles can swim faster than elephants of course. I don't think elephants can swim. So that's it. That's my comparison of two wild animals. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you next time, online, online classes.